G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cal here, and today I am back playing Neo Automata, and this is episode 5, I believe. G'day GAD Iron Life, first again. Uh, I am absolutely... I am enjoying this game so, so much at the moment, to the point that I don't usually do it, but um, I was digging it so much that I actually, last night, I was leveling by myself, not doing any of the... Um, any of the story content, but I was just really, really keen to play, so I was just wandering around, picking up items and leveling up and stuff. Uh, it's, it's really got me hooked, this game, so yeah, definitely, definitely a good one. Um, so last night I did a little bit of leveling, I got about six or seven levels, I think, and I also picked up a new weapon as well. Uh, what did I get? I got a spear, I think it is. Yes. Uh, I got the Virtuous Dignity, and I upgraded it to level 3, and it's pretty cool. But I'm still really enjoying my, uh, my big-ass axe is probably the best, the best thing at the moment. Um, yeah, otherwise, just really having fun. I found a really good... What is combat braces? Ah, oh, fists. Uh, I found a really good leveling spot. Uh, if you watched an earlier episode, I walked down in the robot area and I got complete, or the desert area, I got completely destroyed by um, a bunch of robots. Uh, I can't see it on the map here, but there's an arena with two huge robots and um, some suicide bombing robots in there as well. You can level up really fast. They're like level 38 or something, so way above my level. But because of the suicide bots, you can blow them up and kill the uh, high levels pretty easily. So it's been really easy to level up, actually. Probably get a level every 10 minutes or so. It would be faster, but I just, I have, it takes a fair bit to kill level 30, so I pretty much have to wait for the suiciders to come in and do it all. Also, I think we have enough materials to do the, uh, the Roboto Dojo missions too. Which is over here, I think. Yeah, that guy up there. Uh, last time he needed some, like, high tension wire or something like that. So we're gonna try and give it to him and see if we can beat the crap out of him again. Father Servo. Yep, so we got the items for him. Aram London, is it? Aram London? Uh, yeah, I know. I think at about level 40 you can start leveling up really quick and this is the only method I've found. There hasn't been a video on YouTube, so maybe I'll make a video on a low level um, leveling spot. Hey, I got the junk you wanted. <laughs> ah, excellent. Now Father Servo can modify himself anew. When you return, he will be stronger than ever. Oh, I can't wait for that. People talking about themselves in third person? Come on. Oh, we got a brown belt too. We'll be a master in no time. Uh, as far as side quests go, I just want to do like maybe two, and then I'll get on to the main the main mission there. Why is there so many corpses there? Well, there's two at least. I don't know, maybe I'm going to meet an NPC later on that will upgrade my pod, but I don't really know how to upgrade it at the moment. Hey, there you go, level 24. It, it annoys me a little bit that we have to waste a whole pod spot on, um, just to get our experience gauge up. It It's a bit annoying to me, but anyway. G'day, Nanoblade. Yeah, I, um... I must have not retrieved my corpse at some point and lost my experience gain up chip. So I'm gonna have to find one or buy one or do something along those lines. Uh, I think there's a NPC here, a quest giver? Well, oh shit. <laughs> we'll check him out, see what he's got. This, this at the moment, it's just... I'm not even really caring about the main mission because it's just so much fun doing the side missions. I think there's a dude under here. JD Iron Life. I just picked up the uh, Uncharted collection. Dude, if you've never played it before, 
It's really, really good. Uh, even to the point that my sister doesn't play video games, but she sat down with me and my, or my brother-in-law and I, and she watched the whole thing and she was always like, hey man, can you play uh, Uncharted again? I want to see what happens with Nathan Drake and all that. So it's a really, really well done game. Hey, you're with Yora, right? Hmm. Look, I know this is a bit of a out of the blue, but can you help me? I've got something of an emergency on my hands. It seems that most, some machine life forms have stolen several plug-in chips containing classified data. Hopefully it gives us some good ones. If they realize what they have, we're going to be in big trouble. You have to help me get them back. All right. We have to tra track down a total of three plug-in chips. Okay. They're all located in the city, apparently. Alert. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. Oh, there we go. It's right here. Also, I found, um, just by accident, if I stand here, we got a little bit of dialogue about this guy. Um, oh, what's flying around me? Is there something? Oh, up there. Um, so maybe we can jump up to him and talk to him? I don't know. I don't know how to reach him, though. I guess off the overpass. Oh, so it's not worth it upgrading your pod, or... But I need more, like, pod slots or plug-in chip slots, because I'm a bit uh, low on them at the moment. I'm guessing, can we jump across to that dude and talk to him? Maybe jump on his head. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can talk to him now? No? Okay. I don't really know how to talk to him. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try and repair some of his damaged circuits. This is the massive Goliath that I got lost on last episode, and I didn't know how to get past him, so... So we can learn more about the machines. Don't you think it's at least worth a shot? Yeah, totally. If you say so. Hmm, I'm gonna need a pristine screw in order to finish the repairs. Okay, you don't think that'd be too far to... Ha, too hard to find. We might be able to find one in the remains of other enemies. Pod, search for location of relevant enemies. Enemies? Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Oh, we've got quite a few targets on our map now. Oh, it cleared our other you ones know, though. I'm still not sure I oh, well. this is a good idea. The more data we have, the better. I am right? totally digging this axe. It is just destroying things. The really, really good advantage of the axe if you put it on your square button, like your light attack uh, button. Um, it tends to interrupt pretty much any attack from the big guys. If the little guys are doing chainsaw attacks, not really, but from the big guys, it, it always interrupts their attacks. What is going on here? <laughs> Alert. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. Ah, uh, so you can shoot the uh, spikes off their shield, it looks like. Oh shit. I'm getting slightly better at dodging, slightly. The uh, where I was leveling up before, if you got hit once, it was pretty much game over. So I was having to be really careful with my dodges. See enemies, yeah. <laughs> got a plug-in chip off them. Requested plug-in chip obtained. And we have to find a pristine screw as well. Do the nuts and bolts and things that are around, do they just uh, replenish your health? Oh no, they're, they're uh, gold or whatever you call it. Gil, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, there looks to be another bit over here. There's also a quest, a little dude flying around up there. I think he tries to race you or something. But I've got enough quests on my hands right now. Uh, I'll check what this pristine screw is. Uh, quests. Uh, what is it called? Resistance, no, no, no. Plug and chip, retrieve confidential. I don't know. Oh well, whatever. We'll find it. Anyway, where are these ones? And then, after we've done that, I will, uh, 
I will hit up this part here, which it looks like there's a boss down there actually, so... Uh, I'll set a marker around about here, and then we'll head over there and we should be able to hit two of them at once. Ah, uh, okay, Nano. No. Yeah, I I was thinking that you have to upgrade your pod to be able to get um, more plug-in ship slots. But where does that come with? Does that come with leveling up or? And I still I don't really know what causes that type of counter attack as well. Is that a perfect dodge or something like that? I got to look deeper into it. But sometimes I'll dodge and she does like a counter attack and just blows the shit out of everything. See you later, Moosey. Ooh. A big fidget spinner. See you later, mate. Oh, these guys have like a uh, red face paint and stuff on. G'day, Mr. Percy's. Misthol is usually um, in most of these streams, but I think he's studying for an exam at the moment. Mechanical engineering or something, so I don't know if we're going to see him drop by this time. <laughs> Old chick. Nope, nope. Oh, wicked. Got rid of one of his blades. Item maintained. Oh, that's the plug-in ship that we needed. Requested plug-in ship obtained. Alert. The specifications of this plug-in ship are unusual. Oh? This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. There is no reason for a non-Yorha android to possess it. Ooh. A Yorha only chip? Maybe he's been farming the uh, corpses for plug-in ships or something. <clears throat> You can buy storage from the NPC in the resistance camp. Oh, cool, man. I'll remember that. Thanks. Oh, g'day, John Woo's kids. Kid? Sorry, I didn't see you there, mate. Oh, axe dudes. <laughs> Straight off the edge. Oh, crap. The one, um... Criticism I have of the whole pod thing. I... I don't know if I... well, I I know I don't like holding the... Oh, dude. Totally robbed of an item. Um, I don't like having to hold the attack button all the time. I... I know it, like, maximizes your damage if you do so, but... I don't know, it just seems like a... Um, a bit of a burden sometimes. Where did the other one go? Around here. Or did he jump back up? Oh, there he is. Ooh. Plug-in ship, that's the last one for that. Now we need a pristine Alert. screw. Incoming message from command. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in ships ah. that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Roger. Ah, okay, the plot Chips thickens. with classified data, is it? Maybe we've got a traitor on our hands. Is he? Oh, dude, this guy's upgraded as well. Okay, we'll take him on while we're here. <laughs> he looks badass. Has he got... Has he got like a sword penis or something? No, that's his tail. <laughs> oh, I thought he was facing the other way. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Oops, I should have been reading that one. Well then, do you care to witness the glories of this latest modification? Looks like he's going to be hard. Probably level 40 or something? The father servo you knew has passed from this life, my child. Behold his latest incarnation. Whoa, straight into it too. I 
Hopefully he's not... Whoa, shit. Hopefully he's not too big to interrupt. Yeah, he thinks... I think he's too big to interrupt. I'm doing, like, no damage to him as well. But he seems avoidable enough for now. The spear moveset is wicked. It looks really, really good. I still don't think it can beat out the axe, though. Oh. Doing so good so far. Definitely better when I first started, then. I was getting hit by absolutely everything when I first started this game. Thank God for the barriers here. If it was like Final Fantasy XV where you could like go out of the combat area, it would suck. Oh, he's taking his crashing. Hopefully he doesn't go into like hard mode when he hits 30% or something. No! Oh. And the dodge command is really, really responsive. I love it. Move sets are so fun in this. Everything is just so well done. There's so much care in everything. It's it's great. I'm I'm a little bit worried because this kind of this game kind of snuck up out of nowhere. Really, um, I'm hope I'm kind of worried that they're going to put way too much pressure on the producer for another for a sequel, and the pressure will kind of ruin his. Uh, I don't know, his drive or his vision for the game? I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh. My pod laser seems to be not very effective anymore. It used to be really, really powerful, but... Um, yeah, I definitely need to get a better one. We can get him. Go, go, go. I really like the idea. I thought, um, depending on what hand or what slot you put your weapon in, it actually has a different moveset. So I tried to put the axe in my, like, weapon slot 2, and it actually had heavy attacks to it. So it's, it's really good that uh, each weapon has, like, two different movesets as well. From what I can tell, anyway. Oh. Nearly got him. He's got nothing. He's done. See you later, Father Servo. Oh. Even the dodge is cool. Get him. Wow, he's taking a beating this last percentage. There he goes. No more. Father server yields. So what do you want this time? More weird junk? To business already? My my. Figured I should get it over with and save us both some time. Uh, 9S has some, um, has some pizzazz to him. Well, when the heavens offer succor, succor, it is poor form to refuse. Father server requires a silver ore, a pristine screw, and a broken battery. We need the pristine screw, so we can't give it to him. Hold on, that's more stuff than last time. Error, error, bad file or pathway. <laughs> Stop it, I know you're not broken. <laughs> let's go already. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Uh, no. I need to keep the uh, pristine screw. Oh, you can get a missile pod as well. That's awesome. 
<laughs> Metal Gear Rex has a laser penis, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> laser penises. Yeah, uh, Nano, I would really like to see, um, Tracking Guard again. But, I don't know about a remake. Maybe they just redo the whole, like, just make another game in the Tracking Guard series. I feel... Within the next few years, we're just going to get an, a saturation of HD remasters and remakes and stuff. We're actually going to get over it, I think. Um, I think we should refuse. I reckon he's a bit dodgy. You don't actually suspect me of something, do you? Come on, I need those chips. I think I think there's something dodgy going on. Before I give you the chips, I need you to answer a question. Do you know anything about the missing Yora unit in the era? area? Uh, no. You sure? Look, just forget about the chips. Oh, I think you know something. See ya. Why would he be hiding out in such an area? Refuse. Um... Yeah, I don't know if we can keep refusing him, or we have to give him to him, or what? Um... Whatever, I'll try. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but it's done now. Oh, you uh, obtained a pod program. Oh, cool. Gravity. Alright, I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but it's done. You should give him the chips? Okay. It just, um, I was a bit conflict- conflicted by the whole thing. So pod programs, you got Gatnam laser- oh dude! Unleashes a blast that sucks in any enemies in the vicinity. Alright, we'll give that a try. Actually that would be really really handy for the leveling method that I was using. You could use the gravity well to suck them all in and then get them hit by the uh, the little suicide bomb bots would be pretty effective I reckon. Insomniac, thanks thanks for stopping by the stream, man. It's, um, I would actually say buy a PS4 to play this game. <laughs> but then again, there's heaps of other exclusives as well, so it's definitely worth getting a PlayStation 4. Okay then, let's see what we've got. I, uh, Cal, Gil, 110. I was Manu Humor request of stat. This thing can talk? It seems to be replaying replaying some kind of data. Machines don't have a conscious mind, you know. Uh, after this is it kind of feels like um have you guys ever watched the X-Files? They see like Mulder is like, dude, aliens are out there. Every episode is like Scully. Aliens and monsters and shit. And Scully's like, I don't know, Mulder. But every episode she sees some crazy alien monster shit and she's like, No, there's a complete uh, scientific explanation for this Mulder. And she never, never believes. I'm kind of getting that vibe from 2B at the moment. I managed to pull some di data out of its memory. It seems to be info on the factory or where it was constructed. I'll save it in a readable format. Ooh, we got good experience of that. Archive obtained? Angles. Is this everything? No, it seems there's more. But I need additional parts to access the rest. Let's see, four pristine screws, four this time. And one large gear should be enough to bridge the gap in its memory circuits. Fair enough. Target location data obtained. Okay, Marking so... Oh, there's a big ass enemy there now too. I'm gonna go save my game. From the factory data? Just how it was manufactured. Pretty boring, actually. <laughs> There's still a lot about machines that we don't understand. I'm gonna save my game and then Gather do the main story. Can, no matter how irrelevant it may seem. Here we go. Ah, uh, Joe Clark, you managed to capture or catch the first like half hour of the stream, pretty much.
I'm gonna kill this big ass dude. Oh, uh, I think we need to. He's painted yellow, uh, painted red like the other quest lines. Oh. Uh, you don't want to be doing that, buddy. He's got armor everywhere. The only thing I don't like about the axe is the jumping, uh, jumping attack on it. It's really, really slow. Oh, we did some huge damage then, like a thousand or something. See, the spear moveset is really good as well. It has a pretty good plunging attack too on it. Take that, buddy. Okay, did he drop an item? Pristine screw, nice. Okay, I'm gonna go down and it looks like I could see them from the top when I was running uh, around last night. There was like some wormy dudes down the bottom. Mistol, how you doing man? I was just saying that you might not be here because you're studying for an exam, but there you go. Uh, you haven't missed much really, I did a side quest with the uh, the dojo dude, the karate master. Um, oh, I'm gonna go here too. And uh, that's about it really. And we talked to the big Goliath uh, that we brought down on the last episode. Or brought down, rather. Um, but we really didn't learn too much off him. Now we're going to kill this guy and hopefully he gives us a pristine screw. Oh, we'll have a look at that gravity well too. It won't really work too well on this one big guy, but... Ah, you can aim it as well. Cool. Do massive damage to this dude. Oh, loving, loving this weapon combo. I want to get my spear to level 4 because it adds holy damage to it or something. Oh, uh, actually, I don't know why the chat. I didn't even notice that, sorry. The chat doesn't seem to be showing up at the moment. Uh, if you can guys can give me one second, I might be able to fix it. That's really odd. Uh, it says it can't connect at the moment. Can't get chat programs for this certain stream. That's weird. Oh well. Uh, rip chat, I guess. If that's the case, I will remove the little thingy from the screen. I'll try connect again, but it's not looking good. Oh, that was quite a good uh, little buff there as well. Uh, what are we doing? No, oh, it says it can't get chat. For some reason. Um, Restream is the program that I use to get the... Uh, get the chat up in the um, stream it's it's really really quite good but sometimes there's just a few connection problems but otherwise it's, it's a really good program okay so um, again I can't save but anyway I'm gonna jump down in there and take on this boss what is this analysis it is a cavern caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Oh, there's a big Why dude. Is there such a huge cavern beneath the city. Last time I saw some like worm thingies. Yeah, that's a weird these looking ones. enemy. Can I shoot him from here? No, it's aiming behind me. Oh, okay. It looks like I have to hit the tail thing there. Ah, oh, different parts glow. See if that keeps him sucked in. Oh, bam. Oh, they're quite easy to kill. Alright. Oh. Gotta get my chat back up. There it is. Yeah, sorry about the whole chat thing. I, I didn't even notice. I was too, uh, too into the game. So the, uh, the gravity well thing I've got is pretty situational then. It's more for like a lot of smaller enemies, I guess. It'd be good for farming and such, I would uh, imagine. Get him. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this no. whole time. No. Alright. Okay. 
smashed him. Oh shit, I didn't even see him turning around. It's lucky their whole body doesn't hurt you. It looks like only the, uh, the drill nose thing hurts you. Sounded like that guy's winding up for an attack. Whoop. <laughs> and it hit me. What level? We're smashing the levels too. Right in the bum. Yeah, um, usually the chat, I can't, I cannot get my chat to work for, um, scheduled events so usually i try and avoid scheduled events because i can't put the uh, chat feature on there but it's weird that it's doing on live events as well so guys uh i i don't know if you guys were here the other day we had a bit of a there was a bit of an argument in chat generally people are pretty good but I thought I would make a, um, I'm gonna make Mistol a moderator just because he's here like every single chat and he's been really generous with everything so um, he's not gonna micromanage every little thing but if some shit goes down and there's a big jerk in uh, chat then he's gonna try and sort it out but he's not gonna be here all the time but I appreciate him uh, handling the big problems if they show up. Whee! Flooded City Recon. Oh, corpse. There's another pod in the desert. Has Cal found it? No, I've only got the one pod. I didn't even know there was one in the desert. What pod is it? Has it got a pretty good program on it? Or the um, pretty good weapon on it? This hallway looks Ooh, pretty old. Wicked. They got torches and everything. You would think their uh, red eyes would be enough. Do I know the trick where the pod boosts me horizontally? It's um kind of exploity, isn't it? That you can do like infinite type of flying with it. I think I've seen someone do it on YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what determines the route, so uh, I really don't know what ending I'm going for at the moment. Haha, <laughs> cool! This guy's just like an orb with a, a drill on his back. Auto heal plus two. I've also got a critical heal. When I get down to critical, I think it heals me as well. Uh, what's here? Where? Oh, there we go. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. Oh, wicked. I'm loving this. What is this place? Ah, wicked. That's know. cool as. There's nothing like it in the database. Must be the alien technology or something. They said they went underground, so. <laughs> Haven't seen a cutscene in a while. Are they Ooh. dead? To be. Huh? Look. Who's that? Destroyed alien motherships. Wow. Welcome <laughs> to the Ooh. graveyard of our creators. I've seen a few clips of these guys. You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The alien. Oh, I probably shouldn't have interrupted that dude. You seek are no longer here. Get a Charlie. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Ah, wiped wow. out. And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Huh. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow, 
we can become oh, awesome. aware. Eventually, can we use the gravity well on them? Our network I'm thinking the gravity well is not that creators. useful. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about that. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you would say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon? Now they uh, are interesting. That must be their main Why goal. That? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, huh. don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image after all. Oh, shit. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze wow. them <laughs> in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. <laughs> well, bonkers, what a cool I word. I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same happen, way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. So the machines killed the aliens then? Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? I like the whole, uh, the light thread thing. They're gone. Yeah, I wasn't using my pod so we could hear them talk. But the aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. <laughs> the aliens look pretty odd. Cool, I hope, I really doubt though, I hope we get to find a one alive. G'day Snake, MGR12. Good to see you, man. <laughs> uh, Caesar, I think this game's overreaching purpose is to give you a full-on existential crisis. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's more down for us. More, much more down there. Back this way again. What a pain! Stop complaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut up, mate. Two B, this is Operator Six O. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting ah. to deploy them at other points as well. Ah, oh, wicked. About time we Fast travel. To those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Ooh. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Can't use the lift yet? Maybe we have to come down to it or something. So it looks like we've got a uh, fast travel unlocked now, which is going to be pretty cool. We actually haven't been up to the bunker for ages, too. Up to the bunker. That kind of sounds weird. I will access the save point. Oh no, we can't. Hey. Oh, jackass. <laughs> you again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transport <laughs> too. Um, jackass is you. wicked. I've known the commander for a <clears throat> while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. <laughs> Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Uh, I also did, last night, I finished Jackass's, um missions where you had to kill a bunch of uh robots without taking damage so i think she sent us a mail um with an attachment on it as well select transport and access point to travel to other terminals oh that's that's gonna be so so handy so we'll check our inbox 
jackass. You know what? So I think this is a quest reward. Thanks to you, I was able to create medicine using that research you helped me with. You should try it out if you find yourself with some spare time on your hands. I don't really know what it was, but anyway. Operator 60, confidential mission details. Your new mission is to capture Renegade Yora members. Not only did these members go AWOL, but we would confirm that they engaged in unlawful conduct, including the theft of resistance resources. They are to be taken into custody as soon as possible. Ah, okay. Council of Humanity scheduled correspondence. Attention all androids. In recent years, we have received reports that many peculiar units have been sighted among the machine lifeforms. We have also heard troubling reports of enemies approaching androids under a so-called banner of peace. Do not let yourself be deceived. The mission entrusted to all androids is the utter destruction of the enemy to the very last. Okay. Thanks for that update, mate. Uh, I don't know what Jackass gave us though, but um, could be good. We'll try this transport out. Ooh, excellent. Uh, we might go here and complete whatever that little mission is. Let's do it. <laughs> you know what would be really... What would really suck is if you enter a transporter and it mistakenly uploads your consciousness to a soda can. <laughs> I reckon 2B could man manage it. Just see a soda can with these big ass weapons swinging around and kicking the shit out of people. It's funny, um, even the fact that I'm on YouTube kind of strikes me as a little bit funny. Because when I was in uh, primary school, uh, you may hear a bit of a remnant of it now, but I used to have like a huge, huge list. Like the kids used to try and make me say certain words because I'd like, I'd lop my edges when I was talking uh, every time. So, and my teacher's name was, uh, back in the day was Mrs. Paulson. And she always, I used to say, um, yes, miss, and then try and sit down, or yes, miss. But she would always make me say her full name because she wanted the, the other kids to hear it. So every time I had to say, yes, Mrs. Colton, and all the, the class would laugh at me like some gump. But yeah, I never really imagined myself talking on YouTube as like a pastime or a hobby because I always had such a, uh, such a huge lisp. But one day it just kind of wasn't there anymore, or wasn't as prominent anyway. I don't know why or what happened, but yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad it's not there anymore. It was really, really quite bad. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> G'day, Mad Cant. Good to see you, man. Okay, that should be everything we need to repair the machine. Oh, good. Where is the machine? Is he close? Map. There we go. Uh, what are these? Ah, Yora be Betrayers. Okay, cool. Um, City Ruins Cave. Um, where was the little dude? I think he's a black dot now. Um, anyway. Black Belt. Okay, maybe we do the black belt thing. I'm I'm pretty keen to get the black belt. Uh yeah, I got chat on mate. I just um for some reason it's not loading up in restream. There must be a slight problem with it today. Usually restream, I use restream all the time and it's usually quite good, but for for today it's just it's not being cooperative. Which is a shame. It makes it a little bit harder for me to follow chat as well. I will try and... Yeah, it says the chat is offline I for some reason. Oh well. Oops, didn't mean to do that one. Die, mate, die. Whoop. Actually, I think... Oh, there's new enemies here. 
Cool, I suppose as the story progresses we're gonna get uh, harder enemies or something? Like appearing in normal places? Shit, that's a little bit too early then. I need to buy some more medium recoveries too. I, I eat them like little M&Ms pretty much. Die, die, yes. Oh no, just blew up one part of him. I'll spam like a noob. <laughs> the inaccuracy of this pod is just, it's alarming. Oh shit. The weird thing is, if you don't aim it, it's like perfectly straight. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of odd. Yeah, Mistol pretty much turns up to every single, um, every single stream, so I thought it was pretty solid to, uh, to mod him. But he actually has a, an exam tomorrow in, I think, mechanical engineering, so wish him luck. It's, it's gonna be a hardcore one, I think. Hey, uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna get ambushed here? It feels like an ambush. No? Alright, weird. That was a wasted opportunity there. Yeah, Mad Can, I got uh, I got the discount on Nia. Um, someone actually helped me buy it, actually. Otherwise, uh, I couldn't really afford it myself. So I'm pretty happy. I'm. I wish. I just wish. I was saying, and I've said it pretty much every stream. My biggest regret is not getting this game earlier. Really. I should have got it when it first came out. I guess huge regret. Okay, I think we have enough materials to talk to this dude now. No, it's not letting us. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My name is Engels, serial number 110 beta. Whoa. I was manufactured in Fe February of the human calendar year 11,934 AD. So a little bit in the future. My first deployment was in August of that same year, requesting confirmation of current status. Rooted. <laughs> this thing's getting chattier. Requesting confirmation of current status. Um, well, you were defeated by us androids, that's why you can't move. At this point, you should probably just hand over any classified information in your possession. Understood. Well, that was quite easy. <laughs> More records of him? That was surprisingly easy, yeah, totally. My mission has already been accomplished, my commander is absent. I have no orders to withhold classified information. Oh, I suppose maybe this is why the machines are kind of developing their own personalities and stuff because of the absence of the, uh, the aliens. But as a combat weapon, I do not possess a great, great deal of data. You should not expect much. <laughs> well, he's modest. We'll keep that in mind. Can is there anything further with these dudes? I am tired. I must rest. <laughs> okay. What's down? What's giving us the red mark around here? Thank you for saving me. Ah, oh, that's not quite what's happening here. <laughs> Please visit me again. Why? Because I have nothing to do. <laughs> Are you trying to say you're bored? Man, the these androids are completely like they just strange do not want to believe that machines can have personalities or souls. I guess. Lemon, based on your accent, I shall hazard a guess. New South Wales? No, mate, I'm actually from uh, Queensland. I was born in Cairns, and I've most of the time I've lived in uh, Queensland, but also I lived in Germany for a bit and New Zealand, so I get a bit of a mix. You there, ho! Did, did he say ho, or did he call me a ho? Are you living every day on the straight and narrow? Life is a fleeting moment. We must fly straight like an arrow so we never lose our way. 
So let us see which of us is faster. Believe in yourself and grasp the future with both hands. Well, I don't have any movement speed chips on, but I'll I'll try anyway. Oh yeah! You're going down. Uh okay. What do I have to do? Are you, he's gonna beat the crap out of me. Here we go. The first speed championship. The finish line is over there. Alright. Ah, okay. I I've got no chance. It's you and me, friend. No holds barred. Let's go. I don't know if it's faster just running or it's faster doing a little jumpy thing. No! I can hear him. No, a bastard took a shortcut. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> you prick. Well, I'll only give that one shot. Okay, I think he just gives me, like, experience or something anyway, so, yeah. We'll move on with the main mission. Report. Pleasant. Uh, where am I doing? Uh, map. Wing. I will go over here. Blip. Uh, and quick save it as well. There is an easy way to beat the speed challenges? Is it with that uh that glide method you were talking about or or maybe just speed up chips? Movement speed up chips maybe. <laughs> Caesar man, you must mean hella pissed if you scream yourself hoarse at this game. <laughs> Yeah, it's total hacks. Man, if you really wanted to win, you could just hit your ride on the back of the dude, and then when he was about to win, pull him down, and then, uh, you win. Oh, can't grab on the top of there, I guess? No. Alright. Do we have to fall all the way down again? Huh, alright. Maybe there's something we missed. Oh, we'll talk to her again, I guess. You should be able to zap yourself here from other transporters now. You're certainly active in a lot of areas, aren't you? <laughs> Shut the hell up. You'll make me blush. Uh, uh, maybe we have to go back up to uh, Bunker. We'll give it a shot. Uh, what is my favorite fighting game so far? Uh, Tekken by far, man. I really love Tekken. But also, uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is probably my all-time favorite fighting game at the moment. That concludes our report on the ah. events surrounding the alien wreckage. You can debuff him as well. dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? <laughs> this order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. So, Pascal is the leader of the, um... Like the little robot village. You've got mail. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking we need a lot of movement speed up. And someone was saying we can debuff, um, hit him with a pod program, pro bleh, program Man, called Slow. Commander sure so is a slave good. driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Oh, it has six O's room too. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. 
Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is 9S's room. What do we got here? Oh, what can we buy? Oh, we need some medium recoveries, I know that. Um, I buy 20 just to be safe. And we'll buy another 10 of those. And another 10 of those. Just because I get hit by absolutely everything. Well, I used to actually. Uh, Injustice 2. Um, I like Injustice for the story and the cinematics. I think it's a really, really well done game. I just don't like the fighting style. It seemed, it's not really fluid enough for me. But otherwise it seems amazing. G'day uh, Matthias Jacobi or Jacob. Jacobi. I, I think I say both variants both times. But I like saying Jacobi. Jacobi. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I need from this dude. Ring. A uh, little save dingers there. And it looks like we're going to have to take a rest in uh, 2B's room. What's this? Was this the... Uh... Oh, that's the terminal. Okay. Nyong. 2B's room, is it? Oh no, hang on. Okay. But then we got a main quest back there as well. Weird. G'day, Master Chief. Good to see you, man. Uh, I'm sure it gave us a quest marker. Yeah, there we go. 2B? Is that you? Yes, but... Thank goodness, my name is 16D. Sounds like a good brass size. My instructor 11B was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... No, everyone died on in the assault. She was shot down during the battle. I... I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. <laughs> I know it isn't my place to be asking you this, but, well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have the time. Yeah, why not? She got shot down over the ocean though, so I don't know if that'll be turning up. Thank you. Pod, do we have any information about 11 Me's black box? Negative. It's yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? Yeah. Like, right over the ocean though, so I wouldn't imagine we'd be getting much out of it. G'day Vladimir! There's my room, 2B. See if we can do anything here. Same thing. They wanted us to rest though. We'll take a break. Um, MCS, I guess you want to be called. Um, is Sword Art Online Hollow Realization any good? If it's anything like the anime, the first like half is good and then the rest kind of goes a bit to shit. <laughs> Missed all my family's doing awesome, man. My, my little daughter's just kicking it all around the place, just walking everywhere. Just really loving life at the moment. <laughs> We're going to a party tonight, actually, um, and seeing about 30 or so friends, uh, my mate's party. And we haven't seen them in ages, so this is the first time they'll be meeting uh, my daughter. So it, it'll be really cool to see them all. Is there red spots around any? Yep, down in the desert camp. Okay, we'll head to the desert camp. Yeah, I really like the uh, the anime for Sword Art Online. I felt it was really cool for the first, like, I don't know, about half. And then it just kind of... The pacing was... Like he spent a lot of time like leveling up and trying to get badass and then all of a sudden uh, He was like the best in the game and I just felt they paced it really wrong It just it ramped up way too quick and he got his love interest way too quick um, Yeah, otherwise I really really enjoyed the series Ha! Huh. I bet someone's here to try out my new combat wonder drug. 
I've already handed it out to a few folks and man is it ever popular. One taste and you're hooked for life. And yeah, it sounds bad when I say it like that, but your Yora buddies don't seem to mind. Sure there are some side effects, like a horrifyingly destabilizing effect on one's psyche, <laughs> but none of that should be a problem for combat focused models like you. Anyway, the first round's on me. Check it out and let me know what you think. E-drug. Okay. If you want more, go visit the Yora unit at the oil field in the desert. She was asking for the recipe, so I'm sure she's cooking up a stash of her own. Alright. Uh, main mission. Where do I need to go for my main mission? Oh, it's uh, slightly obvious. I wonder where I need to go. Hmm. <laughs> What are these? Oh, 11 B's Memento? Ah, oh, okay, that's where the, uh, her black box is, I guess. Wow, there's little quests all over the place. The Wandering Couple? Oh, I still need to do that one. And we have to go visit Pascal at the, uh, the little village. But otherwise, you can see the little red dots are all little, uh, quest dudes. So, there's quests all over the shop. Question mark there. There's just stuff, there's stuff happening everywhere. I am going to... Uh, maybe I'll progress the story a little bit. Maybe we can unlock some more um, villages and stuff. Uh, you suggest I try it now for the lols? Can I try it from Operator here? No. Six -O to Tubi. Come in, Tubi. Tubi here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. Investigating communications accepted. Okay. Another side mission? So what do you guys recommend that I do here in chat? Um, should I go to... Uh, should I do the main quest, which is talking to Pascal? Or should I do a few more side missions? It's completely up to you guys. I don't think we have the ingredients to do another robo challenge. At this point the robot challenge isn't too hard, but he's just he's just like a bullet sponge basically. Vladimir says side missions, so we got some more votes on what I'm doing. Okay, I don't have enough to get him what he needs. Bling! I'll use the drug when I fight the, uh, the, uh, Father Servo again. Shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm level 25, so I assume it'd be decent enough, but... So Caesar says, personally Cal, I would recommend doing as many side missions as you can before an enemy offers the next major story mission. Don't use drugs during fights, it's more for comedic purposes. <laughs> okay mate. Uh, I will take some drugs then. That's not the one. Oh wait, yeah it is. Use items? I'm gonna take some drugs. E drug? Oh. Oh, that's back. Alright. Wow, it gave me different buffs and stuff. Disrupts auditory and visual feed for 30 seconds while generating other random effects. Haha! <laughs> Dude, it's. This is awesome! The music is really cool too, like old school dot matrix or something. Wait, not. Not dot matrix. Um. That's what's written on the Game Boy. It looks like the old ass Game Boy. <laughs> awesome. Can we go into combat with it? <laughs> Wicked man. I cannot see a thing, but take that piggy. <laughs> what a cool touch. Pigs are leveling up too, so I guess the enemies scale with me. At least it keeps them relevant, I guess. Is 
Yeah, he's tripping as hardcore. <laughs> what is over here? Looks like we might be able to knock this one over quickly. No, I don't know what enemy is here that we're meant to kill. Does it gravity affect pigs? It doesn't look like it. Holy crap! That pig busted me up. Wow. Holy shit, man. Pigs are just straight out killers. Maybe the drug is like a nostalgia drug or something. Gives you flashbacks. Pig. There's some extra shots, mate. I don't know where they're... I guess the marker's inside the building? Let me try going up here and see what happens. Okay, I only really got one big suggestion, so I'm gonna go and get 11 B's memento. Wow, this is a long ass ladder. Wang, a bit of fan service there for you. What is up here anyway? This is where we came in on the flight units, no? Dude, there's nothing up here. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Ah, oh, there's uh, shipping containers in front of it. Whee! I'm sure one of these floors you could go in, probably, yeah. Anything up here? No. Anyway. Uh, let's go get... Whoops. The, uh, the 11B's black box. Where would that be? It's, uh, over here. Pretty massive. Okay. We have to go on the overpass, I think, to reach it. That one. She looks like a bunny climbing up there. Yeah. <laughs> like a Playboy bunny. Cal, you can check that rooftop near the end again. Um, okay. I'm guessing there's going to be a little reference up there. Oh, these guys are in level 15. Not much of a use. Getting a bit faster. I definitely want some more movement speed chips. Hopefully we don't have to go too deep into the facility to get the uh, get the black box because the enemies seem to be really low level inside the facility. So, oh man, I could have just teleported here. Whatever. Blip. How long have we been going for so far? About an hour. Okay. And we. Progress the story a little bit, I guess. <laughs> There's just so many distractions, which which I love, but it looks like it's located inside. Yeah. Hopefully I can get, well, definitely I'm going to get this all done before Tekken 7 comes out, because I'm going to be pretty hooked on Tekken 7 when that comes out. But I'm still going to be doing my, uh, like, Tuesday time quest for, uh, for Final Fantasy 7, uh, Final Fantasy 15 as well. That looks like that lift that led down to the, uh, the underground flooded, flooded city. It's kind of the same lift. It's right at the very start where you fought the giant saw. There are two shortcuts. Okay. Yeah, see, the only problem with here is the um, the enemies are like level 3 or something. So they give 
like no experience. <clears throat> Yeah, I've got I've got quite a few of you guys on my PSN, but I tend to be pretty lazy with my responses, so I apologize for that. I actually most of the time I have my notifications turned off, just because if I'm recording and a notification pops up, it kind of ruins my whole recording. So, at least I still take a beating for level five though. Whatever, I'll skip them. Can I? Yeah, I'll get back up here. Shring. Oh! The spear looks so damn flashy. It's so cool. Pew 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 pew! I think that's probably just like copper ore or something. Nothing too necessary. Machine oil. Okay, haven't seen many much of that. Still can't go in that. I'm guessing something happens with those passages or those lifts later on, maybe. That, you bastards. Go! Poor little dudes just coughing at little level ones. <laughs> I missed the shortcut? Am I going the completely wrong direction at the moment? I actually don't... don't remember to... Oh yeah, this is way... okay. Yeah, I, I did miss it, I guess. Oh, did I? I don't know. What is this? Seems kind of... oh, there's a... Something over there. I guess you can drop the bridge at some point? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Okay, I'm just going the long way around. Alright. I am purposely doing that to show you guys something. Yeah, that's what I'll say. Evade range up plus seven. Wow, that's pretty good. Bam. <laughs> this is so much easier than the first time I did it. Well, lucky they're such low level because I'm gonna hit a bunch. Can we just skip them? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Bam! Take that, buddies. Wow, oh, they're actually given enough experience to level me. I don't really get the experience bar. It kind of. I would expect it resets back to zero, but it kind of uh, always gives me about 10% that I need to fill up. I still have the gravity vortex thing. I don't know if that's... I just haven't been bothered to change it yet. Now I wish my chat was working, it's so much harder to read chat now. Oh well. Next stream. Next stream hopefully it'll be working. See you later buddy. Ah, the big saw thing was up here, wasn't it? Oh shit. Here we go, has something, possibly. 
silver ore? That's a Yorha unit. Oh. Analysis. Yorha Type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit. Well, that was easy. 11B. So this is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? And she fell a long way. Negative. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Ah. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Ooh, I hope we get to use it. Escape plan. Reactivation complete. A check of my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or the bunker. I leave a draft of this message here as a log. I verify the plan once more. Using my supposed destruction in this sortie as a guise, I shall... I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals that I took anti-air fire while in the flight unit, resulting in damage to my body. No matter, it can be repaired. I'm cold. My sensory systems seem to be failing. Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I am infected or if the system is in error. Repairs are proceeding poorly, perhaps because I am flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communications. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Your squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Painful. It hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. Oh, what a, uh, a sad demise for her. She was planning to go AWOL. Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, corrective punishment <laughs> is impossible. <laughs> that is that is cold. Holy shit. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker. Hopefully when we bring it back, they tell us that we can use it instead. Would be nice. Oh well, that's pretty cool. The, uh, the heartless little pod is just like, yeah, we can't punish her because she's already dead. What a shame. So she wanted to escape from the whole thing and use the fact that she got shot down, but she was okay. She wanted to try and, like, I guess fake her own death, really? Caesar said, uh, Cow, here's a fun tip. Your pod has a little flashlight. If you flash it at an enemy repeatedly, its face will turn red and become very annoyed. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do I have to go all the way back or can I access that shortcut? And can I quick travel without actually going to a, uh, do I have to go to one of those vending machines to quick travel? Looks like it. Yeah. Alright. I wish I could, it would be great if I could just quick travel straight out of here. Or am I missing it completely on the menu? Sorry fellas, don't have time. Yeah, you, so the, oh okay, the, the bridge can be flipped down there, I see. Man, I, this game is so good. <laughs> so good. I, I, like, haven't progressed the main story far at all, but I still feel like everything's still interesting and I want to do everything still. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, there's a body back here. Looks like an NPC body too. And there's one of those things I can't access. It's looking like because there's a machine lock on it, maybe I'll have to get some type of machine power to do it. 
<clears throat> Maybe Pascal will give us the ability to unlock those chests or something along those lines. Oh, sorry mate, no time. Yum. Whoop, whoop. So I'm probably going to be streaming this uh, tomorrow as well, around about the same time. Uh, and maybe the next day as well. I'll, as long as I don't have any appointments on, I think I do on Monday. I'm getting back into the gym for uh, my physio or my recovery. Um, apart from that, I don't really have that much plans for the next week. So I'm probably... I might even stream this every single day. Hopefully until I'm done, but we'll see how it goes. I, I wish I could stream this just all day long. I, I really want to get through it and just, uh, yeah. The urge to play it while not streaming is strong. I really, really have to stop myself from progressing the story. Alright, it's uh, nothing different there. Alright, I probably missed, I did miss the shortcut again, but whatever. Uh, access point, we're gonna have to find, go back up to the bunker and give 11B's weapon back. <clears throat> I totally missed a shortcut, man. See, this is, I, it's like stream vision. I just cannot see things when I'm on stream at all. <laughs> we'll go back to the bunk bunker and see what uh, 11B's um, student, I guess. What she has to say. Bort Samson. <laughs> Whose name is Bort? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, um, Caesar says he's clocked nearly 200 hours playing Neo Automata. I've probably put in about 300 hours of Final Fantasy 15, but after those first initial three chapters, I've I didn't have that much urge to go back and play it. This is the first game in a while that I've really been like chomping at the bit to just be like, man, I want to get back in there. I want to grind. Like grinding is even a pleasure in this. Just I just want to get back in and play it. <clears throat> but as far as finding all the endings and stuff like that, I'm not going to make any promises at this point because I just don't know how long my initial playthrough is going to take me, but I'll I'll do as much as I'm able to. I know I said with my Kingdom Hearts playthrough I was going to 100% it and blah blah blah, and it never ended up happening, so I kind of feel bad about that, so I'm just not going to really make any of that, those promises. Oh, 2B, hello. I found 11B's body along with this weapon. I wonder what the weapon is. The battle log is still intact on this. She must have fought right up to the end. Uh, no, maybe not. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, 2B. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would be happy knowing it was part being put to good use. All right, you obtained a weapon, Yora Issue Blade. Doesn't sound too spectacular or anything. Um, I don't know. There's no real reason to destroy her illusions, is there? But it doesn't seem in 2B's nature to keep it to herself. We will, we will anyway. We'll show a human side. Are you sure this is everything? There's no other information? I'm sure. Well, at least now I can put her memory to rest. Yeah, maybe not. Can I admit something to you? 11B and I, we were in a relationship. Wow, so 11B wanted to run away from this chick. She promised to protect me. It all seems so romantic at the time. Oh! <laughs> 11B was like totally skipping out on the relationship. But now she can't. 
I've been thinking of converting to a combat model like you and her. That way I could avenge her death. I see. Oh, maybe some mislaid uh, intentions there. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. Wow. That's, uh... Jesus. A lot of these androids have real just like, um... If they don't have anything to live or fight for... Well, yeah, if they if they don't have a partner, they don't have anything to link, live for or fight for. So they're just kind of depressed. And honestly, um, if everyone in here has played the game, I, I don't mind spoilers all that much, personally. If people in the chat have problems with it, I'm, I'm fine with that as well, but personally, I... Yeah, I really don't have that much of a problem with spoilers, personally. But I know a lot of people have huge problems, so... Um, maybe I'll just go to Pascal. No. Yes? No. Yes. Yes. We'll see. Oh, check out the weapon, of course. Thank you, Miss Thal. <laughs> I'll have to go... Oh, I should have went to the resistance camp to upgrade it too. Oh well. I also know I've got another quest to accept outside the carnival. There seems to be a clown dude out the front, or a balloon guy, uh, with a quest, so I'm interested in picking that up as well. What a badass, man. What a complete badass. Uh, weapons. I'm guessing it's going to be a light weapon. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like uh, the Genji's Blade. From um, Overwatch. What's the story behind it? Morning, listeners. It's time to kick off another installment of Listener's Letters with your favorite radio idol, DJ24D. Now let's get this day started up, started right, shall we? Weird. Weird. Okay. Uh, I guess I'd have to upgrade it. It's pretty weak at the moment. Uh, these are just shops. I don't think they have anything that great here. Machine axe. These, I, I don't really like, sh like, crafted weapons. Um, like dodgy, put-together machiney ones. I know at some point I'll have to buy all these, um, to get a certain ending, but, yeah. I'll do that when I've got a bit more, uh funds on hand. Wow, that's quite a level up for that one. Hmm, well, I don't really use my, um, my quick blade much anyway, so I won't bother upgrading it yet. And I will save before we go any further. Quick save. Meow. Good. We'll see what Pascal has to say. Um. We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Yeah, uh, for weapons, when they're upgraded beyond level 3, they have special ability abilities. Yeah, I realize my uh, my spear gets holy attack to it, it said, which uh, seems pretty cool. Ask about Pascal's pacifism. Ask about the aliens. Ask about other machines. We'll ask about the aliens. Do you know anything about the aliens? The aliens? You mean the ones who created us? I'm sorry, there's much, not much I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message from them. I guess you could say that the fact they never give us orders anymore is also a reason why we quit fighting. Yes, to be. Pascal, why did you choose not to fight? We have been alive for hundreds of years. We lost countless friends time and time again. But losing friends isn't what scares me. 
What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing those I care die all around me. That's why I decided I'd had enough. Yes, Tubi? Pascal. Yes, Tubi? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? <laughs> I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. Huh. That singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. A commercial unit? Is that where we just were? Where we got the 11B? I'm guessing maybe taking one of the lifts down or across to it or something? Okay, are there any more quests I have to pick up here? Has that guy got a suit on? Is that like a tux thing? Oh, <laughs> wicked. Ah, I like it. <laughs> what a champ. Oh, we got Jean-Paul here too. Hello, Jean-Paul. Do you have a moment? Moments are transitory. One cannot possess them. <laughs> Come on, mate. A moment passed is a moment lost. A symbol of idle, unrestrained apathy that... Can you please just take this present already? A gift? Let me see. Here you go. Ah, yes. Fascinating. The machine who gave this to us said we... Said you were both suspicious and alluring. It seems this so-called gift is nothing more than a piece of unadorned glass. Therefore, I can only surmise that... Um, do you want us to bring a message back to the woman who gave this to you? For a mere trifle? No. Wow, what a bastard. Okay then, let's go. I have another present for you. A present? Of what sort? It's a fossil. One of your followers asked us to deliver it to you. I see, I see. She said you were indescribably passionate when it came to learning something like that. A mechanical fossil? <laughs> no use at all. Do you want us to tell her anything on your behalf or... <laughs> I'll not waste words on mere junk. Holy shit. Junk? Jean-Paul doesn't seem to appreciate these presents he's getting. I suppose we should get... should go tell his followers exactly what he thinks of them, huh? They'll be waiting for some kind of reply. I'm guessing they're still gonna love him. Ah, okay, the uh, the place we were was the abandoned factory and the commercial is a different area. Why is a body here? Maybe he was trying to kill the village or something. Or self-destruct? Oh, the music is wicked here. Really like it. Uh, we'll go down here and then we'll use a, oh, use a teleporter. Excuse me. Uh, where, where, where? Oh. Actually, we need to go to the desert and, uh... No, we'll keep on with the main story. I keep getting... <laughs> keep getting, um... Sidetracked. Uh, we'll go city... Resistance camp? What do I need to do? I'll look at upgrading that Yora weapon. I'll see what it's like. Oh no, we don't have the materials for it, do we? Ouch. Oh well. It's across the rope bridge over the gorge? Okay. Yeah, I, I've seen that rope bridge. I don't know exactly where it is, but I've, I've seen it before. We'll check it out. Oops, I missed a call from my sister. All right. Uh, oh, we got a quest here. Let's see what she wants. Hmm. Is something wrong? You're from Yora, right? I don't suppose you'd... The thing is, I recently came out of the losing end of a scuffle with some machine life forms. 
The battle ended up corrupting a portion of my memory, which is a serious pain, as I'm sure you can imagine. Take these photographs for instance, I have no idea when they were taken or even what they are. I only know that they are important. So some oasis in a desert. The, the amusement park. Waterfalls. I recognize that you're busy, busy, but if you have time to help me out, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Thank you so much. If you find the location shown in any of these photos, please send me the coordinates. Hopefully that will help recover my missing memories. We'll let you know if we find anything. Thank you. So, um, actually, in one of the missions, I helped out a, a person that was back in the back part of this resistance base. Familiar. One looks like the amusement park. Where was it? One looks no. like the desert, and one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those areas. There was... I had to bring someone a music box, and I found some coordinates, but I don't know what the... where the coordinates were, so is it worthwhile tracking down those coordinates, or...? Don't need much from the shop. Uh, yeah, we don't have the items to upgrade the Yora issue blade. That's alright, we need more stretch coil. We can do that later. And we got another quest back here, it looks like. Huh? She's gone. You looking for the lady who was here? Yeah, she left a while ago. Seemed pretty upset about something too, and she was armed to the teeth. That was the woman that we told about the revenge? So maybe she's trying to go get revenge, yeah. Hey, I just remember she wanted me to give you something, here. Whoa, all this? Yeah, she said she didn't need it anymore. I guess she's going on like a suicide mission. Hey, don't ask me, I don't understand women at all. <laughs> wow, pyrite. 1200 XP, nice. Yeah, I think that's the woman that had the, uh, the friend or the brother or something that tried to get revenge on the robots. Okay, uh, what was I just thinking about doing? Um, what? Where do I have to go? I said I was going to go to the resistance, the resistance base, and then we're going to find the uh, the bridge across the gorge. Whoops. Ah, oh, there's a quicker way to get to the map, isn't there? I keep on going the long way. No, I don't know. Whatever. It'll do. Uh, you are our betrayers? New? Where are the bridge? Bridgey bridge? Photographs? Oh, it marks the photographs on our maps anyway, so we don't really have to... Current destination. Alright, yeah, there. that looks like the bridge there. We'll do a bit more main story. I don't think there's been much main story in these ones. Oh, wrong weapon set on. While we're here, <laughs> it is way too easy to get distracted. Uh, we may as well find the uh, the betrayer while we're right here. Except, I don't really know where it is. Maybe it's below us. Oh, can we actually go on this dude? Oh wow, okay. Oh, so pods are really hard to upgrade, I, I guess, yeah? Alright, it looks like maybe the person is on top of this? 1000G, nice. Although money is really quite easy to come by. It's the materials that are going to be the, uh, the hard stuff. Oh, get up, please. No, I can't climb? Oh yeah. Maybe there's something up on top of here? No. Looks like there's a quest marker. Oh, I guess that's the, uh, the actual big dude. I don't know. 
Oh well, we'll just go to the bridge like I said I was going to do. Whoop! That's probably not what I wanted to do. Start atop of angles. To find the uh, the corpse or the uh, the betrayers or the des deserters, is it? Ah, okay. So Philip says the three places the betrayers appear, but they don't always appear. Okay. Heading on over to our quest marker here. Ignore these dudes. And if I stopped for every little distraction, which I almost do, you'd just it'd take hours to get anywhere. You're right today, Mooseys. I don't need any beast tide. Say to be. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me nines? Nine S works just fine. <laughs> well, Dude. yeah, but <laughs> man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Dude, you know she's rough. To be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. <laughs> this must be the commercial structure. She just Pascal smacks him down all about. the time. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. Ah, oh, cool shopping center. Nice, loving it. I hope some of this, I doubt it, but I hope some of the stores are intact with like weird brand names and stuff. Animal bait? I still haven't used any animal bait actually. Yeah, 2B is cold as man. <laughs> Maybe, um, uh, Caesar said Yora aren't allowed to be emotional, but she freaks out when 9S is injured beyond repair in the prologue. Maybe because, uh, 9S kind of, uh, lost his memory almost of that, um, event. Maybe she feels she has to be even more guarded because she kind of wasted her emotions on that event, you know? Because she seemed pretty shocked when uh, 9S didn't really remember anything. She seemed kind of hurt. So maybe she got a bit wounded and put extra no walls up. Through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? Oh. What was that thumping? If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? <laughs> More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> oh god damn. You're so serious to be. You know that? Meaningless conjecture. Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. Above. Oh, the there we go. King. Good. Forest king. The okay. The forest king. You're getting distracted. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. <laughs> well, it seems pretty good at it. Check this guy. He's just running away. Itch. No running. He's fried. It's going to explode. <laughs> ah, the helmet. Where am I? <laughs> cool. What's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? <laughs> This thing's weird, Toopy. Let's kill it. <laughs> Wait, what? No. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> I love it. What an attitude. Okay, what was that? <laughs> this thing's weird. Let's kill it. Did he crash through the barrier? Yeah. <laughs> Just such a great attitude to have. 
No emotion. It's weird. Let's kill it. Looks like the forest is just ahead. Man, we got some big ass pockets, even though there is nowhere, nowhere to hide items on this little skimpy outfit. Oh, cool. Oh, wicked. Is he riding? Oh, that is so cool. Better keep your guard up. Shit. I'm aware of how to fight. You just be careful. Oh, awesome. He's a whole like little unit thing. Oh, I kind of wasting my whole gravity well at the moment. Bit of prompto action. Man, they have badass armor on too. I'm gonna get some buffs off this corpse. Hopefully they're good ones. <clears throat> no. Well, drop rate up is not too bad, I guess. Andy chain. Oh, that guy went in down talking pretty about quick. A king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. A castle? Maybe no way. Cool. So depending on what route you take, it really changes a lot about the game. It's not just an ending that it changes, huh? Oh, we got a red over here. Ah, cool. Get out of my way, you bastards. Uh, usually I'd cut the stream off at about an hour and a half, but we're approaching two hours. So I'm going to try and play for about another 15 minutes, which will make it two hours. Um, yeah, just because I'm really enjoying it, so I don't really want to stop the stream yet. Obligation to the king. Go! Yeah, yeah, gravity well, bitches. Bam! Alright, that, that is not too effective. I I should probably swap that one out, shouldn't I? Yeah, I love their armor. It's so cool. So this is going to be like old school fantasy style, is it? With their castle and everything. Whoops. Wrong button. Forgetting about my little pod machine gun here. The only thing that Hail to the King makes me think of is uh, Duke Nukem. Hail to the King, baby. Oh, is he punching a moose? Oh, I thought he was punching a moose. <laughs> hey, don't run away, bitch. He's nothing without his soldiers. Ooh, is that a secret? No. Ah, oh, there's an NPC in the uh, the castle that upgrades my weapons. Is he a nice moose? Yes. Pyrite, nice. Okay, there's either another quest back there or a uh, a save point. Hopefully a quest. Ooh, cool. Wicked. Oh no, there's nice shack. Stay away from them. Leave this place. <laughs> cool, he's a oh, ball rider. No. Wait, what? Okay, I'll get buffed for this dude. Entropy. Well um yeah. What a fitting name. Attack up three, I guess. Kill his piggy! 
I don't know why we're killing this guy. I guess he doesn't want us to kill uh, kill his pigs or something. Oh! What a wicked, wicked attack! <laughs> Love it. Oh! Is he? Please, I beg of you. What? Okay, he's good. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't want us to kill his boars. Spare their lives. Do more damage to the pig. All right. Please, I beg of you. Um. Spare the animals. Fine, we'll spare your critters. Ah, thank you. So why do you have all these animals here anyway? Long ago, I rescued a hurt animal. I do not remember remember the reason. Maybe I should be shouting this. <laughs> the creature took a liking to me. She followed me wherever, wherever I went. We played together whenever we could. She was warm. She made me happy. Interesting. Now, if I find a creature that is weak or injured, I bring them here. I watch over them until they are healthy again. Thank you for sparing them. Please visit us again. We will welcome you anytime. We'll see. Animal bait times 20, a lot of experience. Maybe this is a good place that we can come and mount some uh, mooses or pigs or something. You got anything else for us, buddy? No. Okay. So yeah, I figured, yeah, I, I wouldn't, uh, I would show him mercy. <laughs> Generally I'm gonna play it, I seem like a pretty good chick, so I'll give most people mercy. But in a lot of games I like to choose the, uh, just the asshole option, basically. <laughs> It seems they can still attack while they're in the gravity well. It'd be really good paired with the laser, like if you could do both, it would be really effective. I keep saying I'm going to change it and I don't, so I'm going to do it after this battle. Oh, is he self-destructing? No. The music is kind of weird with the, uh, the battle going on. Giant egg? Okay, I'll change my pod program while I'm here. I'll put the um, laser on again. I'm not finding the gravity all that useful at the moment. Sparring point? Ooh, what's this dude doing? Apologetic machine. Sorry, my apologies, but I cannot let you pass. Please do not ask why. I really wish I could have avoided this situation altogether. It's just that I... I cannot let you through. I'm sure that someday, don't ask when, I'll be able to let you pass. Maybe. No wait, scratch all that. Actually, it's all up to you. Sorry, and I truly, truly am sorry, but that's all I can say now. I know it's not much of an apology, but to make up for my insolence, please allow me to self-destruct. <laughs> this will result in a rain of useful materials that are yours to keep. So please, I beg of you, do not let my words ruin your day. <laughs> Oh wow, what a champion, <laughs> holy shit! Uh, wait, where's this rain of useful materials? I don't see it, buddy. I don't see it. There's little moose eye. Moldavite. Okay. Some of these places I feel like I should fish at, like kind of picturesque places I should be fishing at to get maybe a bonus or something. Ah, okay, so that is the entrance to one of the DLC areas, the, uh, the arena. Yeah, thanks for the info, man, I'll keep it in mind. I... I don't know whether I'll have purchased it yet. I'm, I'm getting... Mixed opinions on it. Some people say it's absolutely amazing, but other people say like it, it's a bit expensive for what it is, but I don't know. Next save point. Whenever I find a save point, I'm going to finish the episode. I've run way over. 
it's hard enough getting people to watch uh, an hour and a half, let alone two, two and a bit hours. So those machines had a king, but how can a concept oh, going up to the, uh, be understood by a machine? At this point, after all they've seen, how can they still question, like, the personalities of the robots? What do we got? Anything else? No, maybe up there. I want secrets, damn it. Piggly wigglies! Wait, are these actual pigs? What's that little one? Is that the white pig? No, that's a normal pig. Is it? Take laser piggles. He looks kind of white. I actually, I kind of wish that I could stream for like four or five hours at once. That's where twi Twitch is really good. Holy crap. Because uh, you can just do like long ass streams and, you know, um, it's kind of worthwhile. But on YouTube, for me, the actual stream in itself is... Um, oh yeah, white boar meat. Okay, that was a white boar. Um, streams themselves, unless people are super chatting, they're really... Yeah, they don't make much revenue at all. Uh, actually close to zero, so, yeah. If I put advertising all the way through it, then maybe, but generally I try and keep it out. Any cool items around here? New. No. Oh, cutscene. Ah, oh, just looking. Lots of birds. <laughs> oh, he's got armored feet instead of armored hands. Yeah, I was trying to parkour up them then, but it wasn't that effective. Holy shit, they got a good stomp on them. And they're electrified as well. Oh! Oh, this guy's a badass. Oh. Nope. Not gonna happen, buddy. Probably should heal, too. I keep pressing up instead of uh, down to get my healing stuff out. Oh, I, I think our level is pretty good. We seem to be wrecking stuff pretty easy. Um, ah, there's a box up there. Hopefully it's not one with a machine lock on it, though. It looks like if I can get up on top of there, I can make it all... yeah. Oh man, I'm not too good at jumping, so... Okay, I'll give it a couple of tries, but I'm not going to spend too long on this one. Because it seems like I need almost pinpoint accuracy or something. No! <laughs> If I didn't uh, dash at the end, I would have had it. I don't know, I think it's doable. But maybe this is an off-stream thing to do. God damn, can't even walk up here now. Well, let's give it a shot. No! <laughs> Ah oh, man, yeah, I can do that easy. As long as I don't goof it up. You done goofed. Hmm. Get up there, woman. I'm still digging that uh that pink bow. I hope there's more um I hope there's more little hair accessories and stuff we can put on though. Snake MGR12. The castle contains a save point, by the way, Cal. Thank you, Snake, for the five bucks. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> okay, I'll try... Oh, 
try the jump puzzle a little bit more and then we'll head up to the castle then I guess. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Ah, wicked, we obtained a weapon, Cypress Stick. Doesn't sound powerful though, it sounds gimmicky. Did my little alert come up in chat? On screen? No. Did anyone see little dancing cow come up? I'm sorry if it didn't snake. It seems uh, my functions are down today. <laughs> cypress stick, yeah. A stick made of cypress wood, 60 to 80. It looks terrible. Maybe it'll have a good, um, a good bonus thing at level four or something. Oh, you saw it? Oh, cool. At least, at least you got that little, uh, that little um, gratification. Yeah, thank you again, mate. Thanks. Okay, we'll head up into the castle then and we'll have a look for a save point. Wow, this is cool as. So, so far we've seen like city ruins, um, we've seen factories, we've seen flooded city like water and desert, and now we've seen the forest. So I guess the only other big one I can think of is like a fire type of biome, like a, a volcano or something like that. Maybe that's coming up next. Or a foundry or something along those lines. Okay, so I am gonna save it here. I really want to play for like another two hours, but <laughs> I gotta, I've got housework and I gotta take care of my daughter and stuff, so don't really have that option right now. I would love to though. Save game. Yes. I got a stick. I, I'm really keen to upgrade it and see what it does. At level 4 it might be a bit interesting. Gimmicky, but interesting. Anyway guys, that's the extent of what I'm going to do with the, uh, the live stream today. Um, I've gone way over time, so hopefully if you're seeing this afterwards you're still watching, but I'm absolutely loving this game and I'm really glad that you guys are here. Um, with me along for the journey, but I will be streaming again tomorrow at roughly the same time. Um, I think it's like 9 EST or EDT or 8 possibly, but I'm really really enjoying it. So again, thank you guys for coming along and thank you SnakeMGR12 for the $5 donation. Really really helpful. It uh, pretty much made more than the whole series has already. <laughs> G'day Alex, I'm just about to sign off mate. Yeah, you just missed it. But anyway, thank you guys for stopping by, and again, I'll be back tomorrow at around about the same time. So Alex, if you want to catch the stream tomorrow, show up about an hour earlier and you'll be able to catch the stream. Alright, thank you guys, and uh, thank you for all the tips, Caesar and everyone else that gave me all the great tips. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. No. Caesar, man, you don't, you don't need to donate, just your tips and your view is enough. Thank you guys.